Hey guys, Sean Tom with VPX Baseball here. Hey, I want to talk to you guys about a couple terms that we use often. We're going to explain them and how they correlate uh, to help you maximize your movement. We're really big on, you know, movement enhancement, top performance, getting the peak performance out of every single pitch you throw. So the first one I'm going to talk about is heel connection. So I'm going to get up on the mound here and show you guys exactly what we're talking about when we talk about heel connection, okay? Essentially, what we're trying to do is transfer the maximum amount of energy from the ground up into my hand out through the baseball so I can throw some fuel, okay? But what happens a lot of times is movement breakdowns, you know, early drift forward, rotating to get my heel down, which is what we're gonna talk about here, flying open, all that stuff, takes away from the amount of energy that I get. And that's why, like, when I go to, as a college baseball coach, when I go to watch a kid throw in high school, you know, to see about recruiting him, you know, a lot of times I'll see like an 81, 82, 81, 82, 81, 82, and then 84. And then it goes right back to 81, 82. The reason is that 84 is in the arm, he's just not getting it out because he's not getting all the energy he can get out of the ground. So I'm gonna show you what it is real quick, okay? So, you know, just slow-mo right here. Here's what we're, we're talking about. We're talking about heel connection. We're talking about, obviously I have the one heel in the ground now, my back heel, and my goal is to keep that in the ground as long as I can throughout. Down, right there. Now the energy is gonna go up through my body. Now, obviously when we throw, this is gonna be up a little bit as we land. But the problem is, so many young arms, and actually all the way up through, through the pro level, a lot of guys struggle with this. As I'm going into the ground, this starts to come up too early. And that's where the energy chain is broken down, and I never get that transfer bit in my hand. So heel connection, simply put, what we're talking about is heel down, still loaded. Now, all of this energy can come up into my hand. Now I can use it, transfer into the baseball, and go. Okay? Another term, and how it's gonna, I'm gonna tie this together for you. Another term is hip to shoulder separation. You see it all the time out there, okay? Simply put, what that means is when I land, how closed am I still? Okay? You look at guys that throw serious cheese nowadays, but you, I mean, you'll see a lot of, I mean, it's almost like they're still turning to center field, it almost looks like, because they're maintaining their load and they're staying closed all the way into foot strike. An easy way to look at this, okay, we're all about making things make sense and what's easy for you to understand. If someone's standing down there at home plate and you are properly closed and have proper hip to shoulder separation, you shouldn't be able to see or read anything on the front of my shirt right here. So as I get into the ground, if someone's standing down there, I'm here and I'm this way. The more I get this way, the more my hand goes back to counter, the less connection I have, the less energy I have up into the ball, the weaker my fastball and my breaking ball and so on, okay? So hip to shoulder separation is when I lift and load, how well do I maintain this angle now? So now as I go, I maintain, see? I'm still loaded, still closed, chest out. Now all this energy, there's my heel connection, goes. But if my kinetic chain breaks down and I don't get that load all the way through and I don't support the energy here and here and here, you'll see the difference. So if I get here and all of a sudden, as I move down, I go that way, even just a little, you see what happens, duh, no shot. Because I can't get that connection because the way your body works, right? The sequence of it, this goes, then this goes, then this goes, done. So how do we keep this in the ground longer? Attain heel connection, get maximum energy. You gotta maintain separation and stay loaded. So you'll notice if I do it correctly, I don't have that problem. Nothing's going that way because I'm loaded and pushing with my hip. So there I am, heels down. I'm powerful and have a good base. Think of anything you do, right? Pushing a heavy piece of furniture, throwing a punch, whatever it is, it is always going to be step, apply force. You're never gonna do any damage to anything going like this. It's always step first and then go. So you always, to perform a powerful movement, especially as an athlete, it's always gonna be down, go. So as a pitcher, which is one of the most athletic things you can do, especially when dealing with slope, man, you have to get that done. So again, heel connection right here, boom, heel into the ground. Hip to shoulder separation, I'm still closed. And then I go and fire. You cannot have good heel connection without maintaining good hip to shoulder separation. Because when one goes, everything else goes, I can't transfer that energy, okay? 
Again, we here at BPX Baseball are all about movement, being powerful, being athletic. I can't maximize my ability if I don't get this done. So that guy I mentioned earlier that's 80-82, flashing 84-85, back to 80-82, well, that's because that's not happening. It happened on the 84, and that's why you see the 84. So that's why, you know, as pitchers, we do all that strength stuff, and we do all the ab work, and we do all the mobility training. Because if I throw 100 pitches in a game, I gotta be able to pull that off 100 times and maximize, because the one time I don't is the time that ball is gonna be just a little bit under what it normally is, and it's gonna leak right back over the middle because I didn't focus on my process to get it there. Results down there take care of themselves if you move correctly, right? Moving on time, one, two. Heel connection, go, right? So heel connection, there I am, gone, okay? And again, you notice the shoulders were turned. If I don't, nope, and that's it. Now I'm forward, that ball gets let go back here, probably ends up right there, and then ends up in some guy's den, right? If I can throw quality with angle, uh, and power consistently, get my best stuff. I gotta practice to get my best stuff. So we wanna always work to get that one, two. Heel down, gone. Shoulders turn and close. Heel down, gone, is how it should look. If you wanna train more with us, go visit. We got lots of info all available for you at www.veloprobaseball.com. We also have a full line of products for you to take a look at that will help you on your journey as an athlete.